Welcome to Lesson 1, an intro to PHP. In this tutorial, I will be talking about the basics of PHP, how to get set up, and a couple of extra stuff. So, first of all, you will need PHP, of course, installed on your server. For this uh, tutorial and the next ones, uh, I will be using PHP version 5.2. However, any other version should do just, just fine. Okay. Now, in case you didn't know, uh, PHP is one of the best languages to use on your website, and uh, it's used by many major companies like Google or, and Facebook, but let's get started. First of all, you will need a file editor. Uh, I'm using cPanel in this case that came with my hosting package. However, any other file manager that can create files, directories, and edit the codes will be acceptable. Now, first of all, we need to create a file. I set aside a directory just for our learning. Let's create it, and we'll call it 1 for lesson1.php. Create new file. And we can also open up our code editor and we can see that we have nothing in it so far because we didn't write anything okay so now if we open up our directory we can see that we have this one file and if we open it you'll see that we have nothing now that's because we haven't produced anything in it so to open up our tags or tell our engine that we are now using PHP, we do less than question mark PHP and then question mark greater than. Now there is a shorter form of, form of this, which is uh, just like that, or no, just like that, but you need something called short tags enabled. Uh, you can find more on your PHP info, but uh, we're just going to go like this. Okay, so in order to write something out or print it, we do echo, followed by the string that we want to print. Let's do hello world. We also end our lines with a semicolon just like any other programming language. If we save our changes, go back to the page and press F5, we will see that we now have hello world. But if we view our source, you can see that it's just hello world. This is because PHP is server side. It doesn't you will not see it in the source because you don't ever see the PHP. Whenever you call the page, your server will run the PHP and PHP will uh, create an HTML file based on the output. It's basic input and output, basics of programming. Another version of echo is print. However, studies have shown that print is indeed somewhat slower than echo, so echo is the main thing used. You may also see that it does not have a new line, but even though we have a new line here. This is because, of course, it prints out the HTML, so all it really sees is this and this. We can make a new line by doing we're putting in our HTML code for new line right here and of course you can echo out P or HTML just like that That 
concludes our tutorial for today. I'll see you next time. I hope you find this useful. But that is all. Thanks for watching.